Mr. Toomer is going to hold the mic so that you can hear what they have to say. We're going to start with Zaheem. Hi, I'm Zaheem Lewis, and I'm in the 12th grade. Everyone listen, I know, a num I know a phone number you can call if you or someone you know is in trouble. It's the National Teen Dating Hotline, no, uh, National Teen Dating Abuse Hotline. You can give this number to a family member, aunt, uncle, anybody. It don't, it don't have to be a teen, a teenager. The number is 866-331-9474. Let me say it again. 866-331-9474. Now let me hear y'all say it. Yeah, come on. 866-331-9474. You got it? Thank you. How about Telma? What would you like to share? If you're not necessarily in an abusive relationship, but don't feel as safe at school or home, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. You will not get in trouble for calling. Can I hear you guys repeat it? 800-799-SAFE. <laughs> Safe. I just want to point out, you only have to remember three numbers. You know 800. You know the word safe. What are the three numbers you have to remember? 799. Nine. Nine. 799. Thank you, Telma. Raina. Hello. The best thing to do is to find an adult who will listen. There are adults in this room that can help you. You can also tell a friend or a counselor or some teachers and give them their number for the hotline. And you can tell your social workers. There are quite a few good social workers. I know them right here at this school. Ms. Danielle. I think we all need to help each other out. In your yellow booklet, turn to page 14 for a list of questions which may identify a friend in an abusive relationship. I want to tell you it is not only for what we do that we are held responsible for, but also for what we don't do. Thank you, Danielle. Miss Excellence, Roosevelt High School, 2018. An important thing to remember, you are responsible for what you do not do. When there is an opportunity to speak up, okay? And now, Bernard Myers. The third. I am Bernard Myers III. Raise your hand if you'd be willing to help a friend. Are you willing to let others know about the hotline numbers they can call? Would you tell Mr. Butler, Mrs. Cook, or McKinley students, Ms. Hazlett, your school counselor or social worker, if you know a friend might need help? To sign up as an official peer support facilitator, you need to be willing to give out the hotline numbers and help out a friend who may be in trouble. If you agree to do that, please go to the volunteers who are at the back table of the auditorium. Give them your name, sign up, and they'll make an official card for you. You should also get several hotline cards which you can hand out to anyone you, who might need the information. We want to hear from you about how you are using the cards. Send best friends a confidential email before the end of the school year detailing who you gave the cards to and any feedback or suggestions, and you'll receive an extra three to four hours of community service that you can use this year or next year, depending on the number of students you shared the information with. Friends do not hurt each other with their fists or their words. They respect each other, and they like one another's personalities and the way they think. 